All right, everybody, welcome back. I dig this song. It's got a it's got a good vibe to it. It doesn't matter in what order the letters in the word are. The only important thing is that the first letter Oh, is that a first and last letter be in the right place? Absolutely. That's how uh that's how we do license plates in the US, the vanity plates. Like if you like if you see like uh um oh god but they can be confusing too like in uh like in arrested development his license plate was um a n u s t a r t or a n u s t r t so people thought his name his license plate said anus tart <laughs> but it was a new start Uh, but that's what I'm saying. Yeah, you're right. You're absolutely right. The um, the first and last letter only have to be in the right spot. Uh, for the most part. Thank you to Bukake Sika with 12 months. You got a year, three stripes. Fuck yeah, uh, Bukake got that uh, immovable badge. Uh, Johnny Scar gifting out a sub to the numbers. All the numbers. Thank you, all the numbers, and thank you, Johnny. All right, let's uh, let's finish this tactical mission. I'm ready. I'm excited. I'm excited. I hope you are. Zeke, at least try. Okay. One, two, four, eight, one, six, three, two, six, four, one, two, eight, five, six, one, two, one, oh, two, four. Welcome to Zeconia. All right. <clears throat> oh, I missed a, <laughs> missed a two in there. Shut up, Sitley. One two four eight one six three two six four one two eight two five six five one two one oh two four. How do you remember that? Yes, exactly. How do you remember that name? Funny, I have the same combination on my luggage. Okay. Back at her. So we can't we found out we can't go through this grate here. We have to go through this way. Um, oh, and you don't have a bipper, so you, I mean, what skills did I give you? Man, I should have given you, should have given you, uh, something to calm them fuckers down. Oh, I know. I know. She's going to go pick up the thing. Because uh, Stabby's like, wait, 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 Jacob could go pick up the box, cause I that means I get a stab. Yes, that means you get a stab. Good, good for you. Yes, you can stab. You have two. Oh God. Oh, he can't, he can't do three actions. But JP can. We're gonna get noticed by that guy, that's fine. Okay. As he thuds him. You don't have any more moves. You do though. You oh weird L has three. Hold on, if I I can't see him anymore if I switch to that guy? Okay.
There you go. Go get in there. Go get in there, Weird Al. Weird Al's ready. All right. Can you? What do you do? You have a. You have a shocker and a one pepper spray. Pepper spray. You need to be close for. I think. Like, I'm not sure if you have to be one square away or two, but you have to be pretty close for pepper spray. <clears throat> All right. Let's see. Come on, let me stab him. Please, let me stab him. He's right there. He's ready for it. He wants to stab. He wants me to stab him. Look at him. He's got his back turned and everything. All right, we'll let you stab him. Okay, is that it? Okay. Yeah. We'll end the turn there. Oh, two guys to stab. There's two guys I can stab. No, you only get a stab one. God damn. I'm going to do it. Oh, here I go again with the stabbing. <laughs> but you'll, left, you'll be left out in the open. Oh, I don't care. I'm okay being out in the open. I don't mind people watching me stab. All right, you got a stick, right? You do, okay. Let Weird Al get, get the bit first. Nice work, Al. Nice work, buddy. How far can you go? Can you make it there in one action? I don't know. Told you I ain't talked to him. Let's see. Cause I wanna I wanna move over closer to the door. Okay. Uh abstract play bip is not a monopoetic word that word used for that hit Zeke just did with the baton. Oh yeah, a bip. Bip It's too funny of a joke for Zeke not to have thought of it? What? God damn, dude, that background noise is... Oh, if this joke already made, but do you call him Weird Al because he can... He can shank a bitch? Oh, Yank Yankovic shank a bitch? No, I call him Weird Al because he looks like Weird Al. That's, that's the only reason. Hmm... Because I want somebody to be able to arrest and then move, but he can't, he can only arrest, he can't move after that. In case someone walks in here, he's fucked. Well, let's get this out of the way. Let's let, ha let's let Stabby have his day. Yep. Stabby's going to get his day. I get to stab somebody. Oh, what a glorious day. Glorious day. I'd rather have you stun him. We get more experience points that way. No, stab him. <laughs> in the back. <laughs> oh, that's so good. It's too good. Okay, we can arrest him next time.
Hold on a second here. You still got your three actions, okay. Yeah, we're gonna move you over here. And then see if JP... Nope, he can't. So he can move in and then arrest. And that's it, because he gets three actions. <clears throat> I mean, we should be okay. He should be fine. Get on the ground. Okay. And then you... Oh, oh, that's right. We're going to move you in and arrest this guy. You're going to clean up. Clean up behind you. There you go. That's what we're going to do. That was that was the plan. That's the plan. And then you, god damn it, can't go through that grate. So. You're just going to go as far as you can. There you go. In you go. And then you got a box. What are you going to do with that box? With all that junk. All that junk inside that trunk. Oh my god. You got to... You, you're just going to be stuck carrying that box the whole time, huh? I mean, I guess we'll see if we can get it into the... Uh, into the car. Step one, cut a hole in a box. Step two, get up, man, put your junk in that box. No, that mission was easy. I was on box duty the whole time. Oh, there he goes. That guy's walking out. I was walking up. Okay. Oh, man. Oh, I don't like that. All right, beer's your friend. Take it easy. Okay. Yep. You're just, you're just heading back to the car, honey. Maybe you can come up later. God, that's, look at the just moving so slow because he's got a big old box of gold, hopefully. Uh, let's see. Yeah, no reason no reason not to play it safe. Get a little get a little cover. Oh yeah, Albion's Blade! Weird Al and Stabby coming this fall. Coming this fall to NBC, Weird Al and Stabby. Albion's Blade, gold badge, baby. You got two years, son. Thank you so much. I really need to change the alert for... Like, there has to be a sound for one year, two year, three year, four year re-ups. And I want, like, the two year one to be gold. Something, something to do with gold. Okay, let's see. Oh, you can do a, you can do a, you can bip that guy pretty good. Oh, who else has the push pin? I know I, did I give it? I gave it to two people. Oh, she does, in fact, have the push pin. Okay, well, let's, let's take, oh, what? Once per, okay, this is the other thing. This is a new learning, a thing that I learned. That push pin that reveals everybody can only be used once per mission total. So you only need to give it to one person ever. The one person that's going to use it. So, got it. Duly noted. So, giving it to two people is pretty worthless. Let's 
stabby what are you doing i'm just waiting to stab the next person i just want to stab one more is one more too much to ask to stab i can reach him i can't stab him yet but i can reach him goat horn god damn it Oh, there we go. We can do a uh, a move, a bip, and then a, then move there. So we go move, bip, and then hide there. That would work. There you go. Perfect. That worked out well. That worked out really well. How about you? Oh, then you can go move. Move, arrest, and then and then move somewhere else. Move. Arrest. Get on, the Get on the ground. Now can we now can we see in there? Does that mean there's nobody in there? Oh yeah, okay, it's lit up. It's lit, fam. Hmm. Yep, go ahead. Perfect. Blood is so beautiful on the white skin. Oh shit. She can do a she can do a moving bip. Move up there, give him give him a hit, but that would be that'd be dumb. That'd be dumb. That'd be a bad idea. Cause I bet that guy's gonna turn around. That guy's definitely gonna turn around and come back this way. And then he's in stabby zone. He's in the stabby zone, and that's no good for anybody. <laughs> Highway to the stabby zone. You, that ha ha scream does yeah Futurama doesn't uh Robert or Roberta doesn't Futurama. Ha ha! Ha ha! It's my stabbing knife! That might very well be just foolish to do that. Fuck it. We're playing it safe. Playing it safe. I know. Boring. Yawn. Yawn. Boring. Okay, so the orange means they've gone all their moves. All right. All right, old man withers. Just gonna move up there. Call it a day. 
Anybody else got moves? Oh, Stabby's got a move. If I don't get up there, then I can't stab him. That's kind of the point, Stabby. No, my name is Goathorn, by the way. I'm not just a stabber. I'm a person. All right, end the turn. All right. Oh, God damn it. And I got no stun grenades. I got no stun grenades. Oops. He can go, he can walk up and hit him. Hit either one of them actually from there. Weird Al, can you do it? Actually, let's let's get let's get Jacob going back to the back to the car. God damn it, fucking bullshit! I'm a cop, not a goddamn moving, not a mover. Son of a bitch, carrying carrying the fucking stolen loot all the way back to the car. This is bullshit. Okay. There you go. Yep, Al can do it too. So we got we got two we got enough people to do two moves and two moves and bips. Right in his face. <laughs> Time to poke your eyes out. Oh, okay. There you go. Perfect. That's a triple bip. Look at that triple bip. And, oh, and an arrest. Just immediate. On the ground. There you go. But boss, you didn't leave me anybody to to stab. God damn it. You don't need to stab everybody. But there are people outside to stab, right? <laughs> Get in there. Stab him in the church. There you go. JP is going to get up there and see what's what. Okay. Nobody. Nobody up there, huh? Okay. Damn boxes when I put these fucking boxes in the stupid thing. Now I'm I'm gonna drop this box off. And then we're gonna I'm gonna go back and start start stabbing people with stabby. Yeah, they don't even give me nothing. Wait a minute. Okay, this is another new thing. I don't know, like. Does this if I put it down, does it count? As like, we got it. Let's let's find out. Fuck, I don't know. Guess not. <laughs> Didn't give me any signals or anything. <laughs> but wait, wait, he's all stunned out. Can I stab him now? <laughs> he's stunned. I can stab him now, right? No! Stop asking! You got one today, you're good! Get on the ground! <laughs> I 
Oh, did it did it disappear? It looks like it disappeared. So I'm I'm guessing it's it's in the it like teleported into the thing. There you go. But my knife hungers. It hungers for blood. The blood is the life. The blood is the life. All right, let's see. Let's see who's in here. Oh, God. If he was looking right at the door, I would have been fucked. All right. What do you got, bud? What do you got? No, what are you doing? Oh, my God. I thought I was on the other guy. Whoopsie, whoopsie doodle. Can I go in there and stab him? Well. <sighs> okay, you can have one more stab. One more. Okay, one, one. All right, I'm gonna wait right here so I can stab him. Maybe I just wait in the middle. Hold on. Can you do anything? You can do this. What's this? Oh, he can do this. He can do the shadow step. Which means he can walk right in front of a guy. But he needs another move to do that. So. Maybe we split the middle. Yeah, we'll split the middle. Just in case. All right, now JP, JP's on the on the case. Whoa, Paul and Sepp are dropping another fucking gift sub bomb. Holy fuck! All right, we gotta mute the sound because it's gonna be there's gonna be a lot of sound. So, dropping that what is that twenty? Son of a bitch! So Paul and Sepp are giving giving out twenty subs. God damn, dude. Woo-wee! 20 gift subs. All right, let's do this real quick. We're going to rattle off these names real quick. Paul and Sefer giving out a sub, giving out subs for new warriors. Hail, Leo 112261, Kelrak, Faded Dragon, Saltiest Chuck, Dark Ritual 1117, Subsonic Sprat, Crane 89, Beep Boop Herp Derp, Lag is my nemesis, Lord Mouse, uh, Grim 35, Dennis the Machine, McSauce, Pagan Wolf, Odin DDK, Existence is Futile, 2, Patty Puss, Mr. Visago, D uh, Dino, Palom oh, Dino Palomino, and Randy 1360, Berserkers. Thank you, Paulton Sepper, with those gifties. God damn, dude. And, oh, and a new sub that just primed it up. Hail Wackaday, Berserker. <laughs> Wackaday, thank you for the prime sub. Appreciate it. Soon, all will be subs. All will be subs. All right, I don't want to jinx it. I don't want to jinx it. Okay. Oh, it's a fucking maze? Oh my god, it's a hedge maze. So I gotta go up and over and... Oh my good lord. Alright. Move it up. What do you see? Nothing. Hold on. Oh, there's a guy that goes this way so there's a guy gonna be coming up over here there's a one guy here and one guy here so there's three more guys not counting the guy in here okay hmm Wondering if I should go here or here. This would be the safe choice. That would be the dumb choice.
Because if he's hanging out in this area, I'm kind of I'm kind of screwed. All right, we'll just go right here. Oh. Oh, Stabby's not up yet. Oh, but Weird Al could bip him. Oh, Weird Al wants to bip though, but Stabby, I promised that guy to Stabby. I'm You know what? I'm going to honor my promise, Stabby. I'll let you have it. I'll let you have it. I was going to, you know, we could have like bonked him and sent him to the sent him to prison, but Stabby Goathorn wants to send him to his grave. Salt and pepper's here. S -s 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 Salt and pepper here. Ah, push it. Well, I mean, we don't, I don't see any boxes or anything, so might as well send this guy back, send Weird Al back over here. We got backup, so. Anybody else got to move? Nope. JP is the only one left. All right, we're gonna let we're gonna end the turn there. There we go. Turn is ended. Oh man, it's like he wants to get stabbed. Can I see if I got a package or not? Like, is there a place to see that if I got one? Why risk it? We don't do easy on this stream, right? Okay, so that package is gone. It's no longer there, so... We'll get back in there and do some real fucking police work. Let's stay ring one of the bodies back to his home just for personal stabby use. <laughs> Yeah, this is for personal stabbing purposes. <laughs> like, can I take him home? Why would you want to take him home, Goathorn? No reason. You're a real creep, Goathorn. I know. <laughs> All right, it's time. Is it time? Is it time now? It's time. Oh, good. The knife calls out. The knife calls out. The knife needs blood. <laughs> the blood is the life. The blood is the life. <laughs> All right, let's see. Yep, go ahead. Nothing there. All right. You go there. Little little hops, little uh, leapfrogging. Still don't see the fucking guy. All right. There's two guys left in this area. <laughs> God damn it. I had to watch Stabby stab three guys today. It was it was terrible. <laughs> Okay. We have hey, there he is. There we, we go. There they are. Got them both. Okay. 
Oh, do you have... Oh, JP has a silent shot. JP, are you going to take the shot? Ooh, shit. Odds are good. Odds are good. Take that silent shot. Hold on. Let me just make sure here. It says... Oh, I can't read the description. But that's what that means. Like, I think the first shot of every round is silent. All right. Take it. Go ahead, JP. Give him what for. Oh, dude, you got him. I love that noise. What about you? Do you got do you got a silent shot? Nope. You got the push pin. Oh, well. Well, fuck. What's that? What's Al gonna do? Maybe, yeah, maybe give her some backup. Hey, I heard you needed backup. Al, oh my god, you're so lame. There's a guy. Okay, good. All right. I just I want to hear what what uh McGuire is thinking. He's like, God damn it! I left Goathorn to left with I left Goathorn alone with that corpse. He's gonna do things to it. I just know it. He's that uh, he's gonna fucking he's he might fuck that corpse. You know what? Don't think about it, McGuire. You got church tomorrow. <laughs> And, and all the while, he's just thinking, like, it's just you and me now. That's a nice, that's a nice stab wound you got there. Be a shame if someone fucked it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I apologize. <laughs> Be a real shame. <laughs> that might have been a little much. Sorry. <laughs> Oh, and you had to add the quote, Sitley? You didn't have to add that quote. Okay, so does... Jacob, what do you have? Do you have a silent shot? No, you don't have anything. You can arrest... We'll let you arrest one person, how about? How'd that be? We'll let Weird Al bip it. And then you arrest it. No, you're gonna... He's gonna stay right there. He likes it right there. Just got to get a better angle on that. There he is. Okay. There you go. Can you get up there? You can. Look at that. Perfect. Well, get on up there. Give him a bipski. All right, Al. You're up, buddy. <laughs> Such a great noise. Oh, oh, you got three actions. Okay, good. <clears throat> Finally, give you some fucking actual cop work. On the there you go. And JP, can you get up there and arrest? Nope, not quite.
Do you like this kind of mission? I do. I really do. All right. Fuck this. I'm out of here. Fucking stabby getting all fucking stabby. I'm just fucking leaving. Fuck this place. <laughs> old man. Old man McGuire is not having it. He's done. He's out. Fuck this. <laughs> nope. Stabby's good. He's going to stay behind with the corpse for a little bit. <laughs> Al's gonna cover our six here. Is that it? Okay. So Zeke, after playing this for some time, what are your thoughts on it? Is it better than the first one? I've heard so many things about it. Yeah. Yeah, I, I like it better than the first one. Now, hold on. My question is, before I leave, I want to see... If I can pick, if I need to pick this guy up. Yeah, head over there, JP, and see, like, he's shot and stuff. No, you can execute him. But I need, no, no picking him up. Okay. So I, I'm wondering, like, since he's bleeding out, like, do I get him arrested? Because we've stabbed two people and shot one. So maybe uh, this might be it. So I wonder if three people die or just two. When I end the mission, someone's bleeding out. Only two. Okay. So if you end the mission before they're done bleeding out, you do get the you do get the arrest. Excellent. Good work, everybody. Nobody even got caught. No alarms were raised. All stealth. Two stabbed. Everybody got what they wanted. Got some jewelry, nice. Some gold bars, fine. The Coke was worth it, man. The Coke was worth it. All right, I'm, I'm turning the alerts back on now. Just um, there the sound because uh, I don't want that horn to keep sounding over and over again with like 20 gifts up from Paul and Sepper, who's amazing. Nice, Adkins. Is she fast or strong? What do you think? What should we give her? She got one point. Fast or strong? Speed, fast, okay. Athlete perk, athlete perk's always good. Get move extra squares. And then old man McGuire, Mac McGuire, another super cop. Last point in strength. Old man McGuire, he's on it. He's a good cap. Oh, Freddy Goathorn. Oh, he needs, he needs to have that. He has to have the, the ninja perk. Cause he likes to sneak up and stab people. He's got a strong stabbing arm and he can sneak. <laughs> Of people <laughs> uh oh and jp oh what should we what do we give jp strength intelligence shooting or negotiation what do you think you want to shoot because he, he did silently shoot somebody so we'll give you the last perk in shooting he silently oh now weird al Oh, we were gonna do we were gonna round Weird Al out. That's right. We we're gonna do all in one and then just go from the top and keep going. So we'll give you shooting now. And then we'll go negotiation after that. And so on and so forth, up and down. Alright. Bark away with six months. You got two stripes, bark away. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. All right, Marcelo Ferretti in interrogated some of the witnesses and prepared a preliminary report for the mystery of the missing corpse. That's right. Plasticine, because I asked what that was yesterday. All right. So, the morgue's door showed no signs of entry, but it was unlocked when the pathologist came to work. A gurney was found near the entrance to the morgue, a tag with the name Alan Cross was still on it. Oh, I, put, I didn't put my best guy on this. That's why we didn't get as many clues as we did last time. We gotta, we gotta get more clues for this. Okay. Oh, and this was the last call that we sent people out on. All right, some teens are standing in a circle in the center. There's a white girl aggressively rapping in the face of a pumped up guy in a cap. It looks like he has a gun stuck in the back of his belt. Chapman. We were, oh, he was, he was gonna listen. I remember we listened 
But someone got shot the first time I did this. So... Hmm... We'll listen. The girl freestyles, I'll stomp out your sig- Oh yeah. I'll stomp out your sig when you're bumming the light. Ride you, ride you like your daddy on prom night. What's the matter, Jock? Is the cap too tight? Uh, the guy in the cap can't stand it, pulls out a gun and points it to the girl's head. Now, I think I turned on the siren, and it spooked him, and he shot her. So, what if we order the guy to drop his weapon instead this time? Drop your weapon! 519 complete. He obeyed the cop and surrendered. In this rap battle, the police had the knockout punch. Boo! It might seem crazy. Oh. Oh my god. Sitley. To the tune of Happy, Sitley wrote a stabby song. Ready? It might seem crazy what I'm about to fuck. It's just the stab wounds get me so hot. Wanna cut you into a. Wanna. Oh, excuse me. Wanna. Cut into you a whole new slit. When you're done with that corpse, can I have it? <laughs> Cause I'm stabby. <laughs> That's good shit, Sidley. Nice work. That's good shit. Cause I'm stabby. <laughs> All right, we got some cassettes. Good job. Hey, Trotsky gained a level. Now, what does Trotsky get? He's smart, obviously. Obviously, Trotsky's smart. But what else is Trotsky? A negotiator, do you think? He rallied the people, maybe? Or rallies the people? I think negotiation. I think you guys are right. Freeze, buddy! Oh, and then this fucking lump of shit. Oh. I think we're gonna roll for this guy, right? Let's roll for this guy. No, JP is the other guy. You'll you'll know JP when you see him. So we're gonna roll for this guy. Roll one D6. And it's a three. Speed. He's a fast guy with a beard. And he's got he's a ferret. I like that they associate ferrets with dodging. Like you ever seen the wily ferret? It can dodge bullets like nobody's business. Praxis, by the way, thank you for 16 months looking good, Zeke. Oh, well, thank you. Look at this. Oh my God. Stacking up the tabs. It was a good day today. It was a good day. All right. We're finally caught up now with where we were before. Uh, let's see. Deemers, 33, 230. Randon with uh, 34 or Stockman. Well, we're going to buy the Shocker. And we can't, we can't have another disloyal guy. Disloyal, he's a disloyal alcoholic. Which is weird because... I'm going to say something stereotypical now, but I thought, like, does the, or actually, let me ask you a question first. Does this, his, like, head wrap, does that, is that a location thing, or is that a religious thing? Like, a, a place in the world wears those, or is that a religious thing? It can be both? Okay, okay. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, I was going to say, like, look, by the looks of him, his religion probably wouldn't allow him to drink. So, which is, it's weird that he's an alcoholic. All right. We're not going to get him, though. He's a schizophrenic. Hmm. Hmm. Most religions don't want you laying with altar boys. That's true. I, I would say, I would venture to say, like, all of them. 
Would that be a blanket statement that I can make? All religions are against, like, you know, <laughs> diddling uh, altar boys. <laughs> he's a guy from Assassin's Creed. Yeah, well, that's beside the point. I'm not going to get him because his fucking, he's got too many problems. So we'll get Randy Randon, and then we'll call it a day. He has good, he has decent skills. He's Lawrence of Arabia. Auge, see, there's Auge. He's, he's got four more days in the hospital. He got shot bad. He was hurt bad. All right, so anybody that's in the green is coming in today. Oh, and my other stabber, Musica, also got shot on a mission, so he's recovering. And there's, oh, Saddam is, no, Saddam, I forgot, Saddam is alive. He's fine. Saddam is A-okay. He's just disloyal now. <laughs> All right, yellow, 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 yellow. Oh, that's right. Trotsky, Trotsky only works one day in a row. You only work one day in a row. All right. So we'll let flower pots have the day off. Anybody who's in orange or red, we'll let you have the day off. Rest up. Come on back. Well, he looked like Saddam when he had, like, like Saddam from the spider hole. Like, when, when they showed him, like, getting, getting taken out, he had that big old bushy beard. Looks like him, right? I could be. Am, am, I, am I just completely out of my mind? Let me see. Oops. Sad, sad man, Saddam. There we go, Saddam Hussein. Images. There, right there, there, there it is, right there. Doesn't that look like our guy? Oh yeah, dude, that looks like our guy for sure. Look at him. Oh yeah, I'm right. I'm right on the money. All right, we got 15 cops on. Everybody else is taking a break. Sounds good. End the day. No, he looks hin Hindu. What What gave it away? The fucking God? I'm not talking about his makeup. I'm talking about his hair and his beard and his face. Jamie, Corey, great. Come help me move some papers from Sheriff Wells' office. A lot of papers and some other stuff, too. You bet, Princess Carolyn. Come on, guys. Let's get moving. Sheriff Wells' office? I thought we, uh, aren't like we not allowed to enter his office. You don't, you don't need to go inside. Just wait in the hall. I'll take it all out, and you can help get it downstairs. I'll get some twine or something to tie up the stacks of folders. Someone help Carl Kolchak find his keys, please. Sheriff Reed here? Yeah, we're waiting for her. She asked me and Jamie to come help with her. <laughs> Alright. So, uh, did you catch a game last hey, night? what's uh. that? <laughs> mold? That? Oh, yeah, that, that's black mold. Yeah, I can I can see it's black. <laughs> I love this fucking Has it been there for long? What is this banter? You just banter? noticing that? <laughs> then you better not look at the ceiling in the dining hall. It's all rotten this from is, one end to the other. This is great. I always think the thing is going to fall on me like it's a race. Can I finish my sandwich before the ceiling finishes Oh, me? where the fuck are my eyes? Sorry. I read that as keys. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Oh, oh man. <coughs> can, uh, can, mold <coughs> can mold cause coughing? <coughs> it's bad for your health, right? Some kind of toxin or something? What? <laughs> Hardly. Oh, man. Feels like I've been breathing in garbage. When was the last time we had repairs? Repair? Are you kidding? This place has been falling apart for 40 years. Hmm. How old is this building? 80 years? Hmm. Uh, 122. <laughs> Jesus, that what? That old? Are you sure? You ever read the sign at the entrance? You think I'm the kind of person who reads dumb signs? Well, it's been right in front of dumb your nose. Dumb signs with dumb like, information. How long you worked here? 11 years? Going on 13. 13 years? And you never looked at the sign? 13 years and you never noticed the black mold on the ceiling. And I heard from your wife that for 13 years you haven't... Uh... Look, you want me to look at mold oh, oh, oh. all these years? We got, I don't even think it was there we before. We got a real DJ it Khaled right here. Mold. Now it's black. These are different types of fungus. When the temperature... Yeah, yeah, what's the fucking difference, black or white? 
I've never seen white mold before, or black Another mold. Another one! And the floor didn't use the creak. <laughs> Maybe we have termites. I do not want to fall through the floor one day. Hey, you got a cigarette? What does a witcher need with a cigarette? A light? Uh, a light? Um... Sheriff Reed isn't going to be happy about smoking in the station. Well, uh, Sheriff Reed doesn't have to know everything, right? What is the point of this Reiner loot? I'm going to jump down your throat just like everybody else when I ask the same question when it's in-in conversation. It's character development! That's how I imagine they sound. When I say like this is boring, it's why me. is this in the why is this in the yeah, game? Already done. Because it's character development. Very. No, that won't be necessary. No, no, let Marino bring me everything in writing, then I'll do it myself. Yes. Excellent. <laughs> Oh, Rockman didn't come into work today because he realized that the thing above his lip was not a mustache, but a shit smear. <laughs> Sorry, I can't get into work today. I gotta wipe the shit smear off my lip. Uh, who was that? We had a new sub. Let's welcome Hail Jose F. Meyer. Or Mayor. Berziger. What up, Jose? Thank you very much. Welcome. It's black mold. Uh, I'm having a bad time, Mr. Nash. My eyes are so messed up, I can hardly see. Speaking of eyes, can I go home? What happened? By the house, uh, there was a welder working on this crooked fence. I took the welding machine off him to show him how to do it properly and forgot about the mask. Now my eyes hurt. It's painful to look around. I think I better go lie down. Nah. Nah, you can't do that. Well, I know who's coming along on the next mission. You just, Harold ran and you just volunteered for the next tactical mission. Um, we have a new, another new sub. Hail Cheese A, Cheese A, thank you. Thank you very much. Or, I'm not sure if it's Cheese A or Chess A. Chess A. Lost all respect for me. I don't give a fuck. You know what? Good. Eat shit. It's so easy to lose respect, but I don't know how to gain it. I want to know how to gain the respect. All right, whatever. Okay. No, you don't. No, I'm sorry. You don't get nothing. You get you get nothing. In fact. Oh yeah, you're gonna be disloyal. Nope, you don't get any weapons. That's what happens. Gonna be disloyal to me, huh? Gonna give me the lip? Gonna give me your lip? Means you don't get any fucking weapons or nothing, huh? That's what it means. I need more stun grenades. Like, badly. All right, we had enough. You're lucky, pal. You're lucky we had enough. Everybody, you can you can have one of those, and you too. You can have a beat stick. That's all you get. All right, mystery of the missing corpse. Nope. Nope. Who's got the smarts? Oh, Saddam's got the smarts, that's right. So what do we need? We need clues, right? Yeah, we need more clues. Because we sent we sent a uh, a novice in on there and just wasted time. Because we need more clues to fucking figure this shit out, so. I have no idea where Sheenie is. No idea. She got kidnapped and I was just like, oh well, shit happens. Neckties base assault. Oh my god, another assault from Sean Moreno. The current Neckties headquarters is located out at the abandoned circus. In fact, they weren't even trying to hide. The place is so secluded, hidden deep in the forest, and the locals 
steer clear of the place haunted as it is by a tragic story. Let me put you in contact with Adriana Pusso. I love that name. Adriana Pusso. She's a former clown. <laughs> nice. She'll tell you about what happened and she can help sketch a map of the area. Who can, uh, who can know the circus better than someone who lived and worked there? Plus, Major Davis Trix, a former colleague of Colonel Henderson, will be helping to identify the vulnerable points in the headquarters defenses. As far as we know, the Major and Neckties have a personal score to settle. Oh, gotta give him his snitch salary. Oh shit, I think that's my last Armagnac too. I better get another one before I forget. There we go. I think I only, I don't think I have another one. Nope. Nope. Okay. Do you want me to tell you how to get loyalty? Nah, Drock, I'm not, I'm not, honestly, I'm not that worried about it. I don't care. If they, if, if I can't give him a day off because fucker didn't wear a welding mask, he can eat a dick and get shot for all I care. I mean, I'm not gonna go out, out of my way to make him get shot, but. All right. Yep. Let me get two of them. Just a, a, ni a nice little backup. Okay. So I got two Armagnacs. And there we go, taser cartridges. I need like five of these. You know what? In fact, I'm going to buy you out of them. There we go. They should have a system where you can buy more than one at a time, though. All right. Now. Oh, man. Gold went down, guys. The gold price fluctuated. It was like 12,000 bucks before. It's like ha cut in half. What the fuck happened? Or like 16, yeah, dude. Gold prices, they go up and down, man. Hmm, shit. I guess let's ride it out and see because I don't have to I don't have to pay the guy for another couple days And she doesn't have any stun grenades. I can't buy any no stun grenades there. Oh She has all this random shit Okay, let's see What I want to have one of each what don't I have? I got, okay, cassettes, fuel, leather boots. I got a home TV. I got some peaches and some cassettes, more cassettes. I got beans and soup. I got a portable generator, VCR, infant formula. Let's see. I'm gonna get one of these, one of these VHS tapes. I got cassettes, I, I'll get some paprika. I got infant formula. I'll get some milk chocolate. I got beans. I got peaches. I got soup. I don't think I have any tuna. I'm gonna get one tuna. I got a VCR. Did I have a cassette player? Do you guys remember? Did I have a cassette player or not? Portable TV. I need one of those. And I think I might need a cassette player. Well, let's go back. I do. I have one of those. Okay, good. Okay, cool. All right. So now I have... Th those are for, like, s side jobs and informants on, on tactical missions is why I'm doing that. Okay. 
Jesus, look at all the boots! There you go. Oh my god, 12 bucks? Fuck you. There, oh yeah, I gotta sell them. Antibiotic pharmaceuticals, you bet. Okay. Gotta sell her some toilet paper. There you go. All right. Have you tried Battletech? I have not tried it yet. Whoops, wrong one, wrong one. Okay. Uh, I don't have any coffee. I don't, at least I don't think I do. Um, diapers, I gave my diapers away, so I'm gonna take one more of those. I got soap. I've got razors, I've got toilet paper, and I got pharmaceuticals, okay. Maybe, I don't think I have Blanche soup. Drop it. Dead or alive. Dead or alive. You, you are, are coming, coming with me. me. I love I you, love I'm you. back. They're, They're back. back. Razzle back. Dazzle's back. Oh, zeeks, zeeks, dazzle. It is, the Razzle Dazzle is back. All right, oh shit, dude. Got my theater money. Oh, we oh we got two arrests to make. Okay. Loves fishing in the ice hole after dark. I bet he loves fishing in the ice hole. Spends his days here hoping to come across thoroughbred animals. So he's an animal lover. So let's send uh who wants to make the collar there? Luna. Adkins. And. No, we got our detectives on today. Is that enough? Not quite. There we go. I'm gonna make a guess on that one. And then, attends night school. Oh, at night, probably. Recently started working at the pig, oh, so it's daytime. So if you're at the slaughterhouse. You get points for this, don't you? Pretty sure. Oh God, this guy fucks. <laughs> night school at night? He attends night school in the morning. Uh, Mr. Nash, I conducted a routine inspection of the plumbing and water pipes at your station. I didn't see any problems that my duct tape can fix, but I noticed that your hot water pipes are like new. I got a feeling that nobody uses hot water at your station. There's no need to even have those pipes there. If you want, I can pull them out, take them to scrap metal yard. No one will know a thing. We'll both make some money. What do you think? No, no, leave them there. 531 in progress. 531 in progress. Holy fuck. 2635. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Registry office. An elderly man wanted to register his marriage to his Siberian cat. When the officer refused, he pulled a revolver from his pocket. Well, fuck. Do I even have enough with everybody? I do. I do. All right. Let's see. Woolbag, why don't you stay behind? Nope. Never mind. Never mind. All right. Shit. This is gonna suck until people come back. I really hope people come back. In progress. Uh, Adriana Pusso, 10 years ago, me and the guys came to Sharpwood on tour. Our, our magician Zoltan was always telling us what a beautiful lake you have here. Oh, this is the assault. Uh, at first, everything was really nice and the public couldn't get enough of us, but then a child disappeared in the city, one of the girls uh, in a local boarding house, and the residents somehow got in their heads that the fellas brothers are clowns, raped and killed the poor girl. 
All our people were uh, taken into the forest to dig their own graves, and the Fellas brothers were dragged out and hung from the mill, still in their makeup. Jesus. I'm afraid I'll never forget that night. I'll be tormented by nightmares for the rest of my life. I was saved by a miracle, and every year I come to the circus to lay down some flowers and remember my friends. Yesterday I decided to do it one last time and, and then leave Sharpwood for good, but I couldn't get in the circus. Somebody built a fence around the tents and hit dangerous traps in the snow. And though the trees are through the trees, I saw some people in coats scurrying about. You can't see what's going on inside past the fence, but I can draw you a map of the place. Okay. So that's my assault. There's the neckties. Four, oh, four days left. All right, we got to develop an assault plan. Get all the information and outfit and sign your strike team. Okay. Mr. Nash, I like to keep an eye on my wife and ex-wife, ex precise. It's true, I hate that bitch, but she's still mine, you know? She jumps into bed with every guy she meets. Every week, it's a new dick. But that guy in the red tie, that was the last try. He, I can't get the sight of his dirty smirk out of my mind. At first, I... I just thought I'd break into the house and waste a little shit, but I decided to keep my cool. I followed him to the forest and went down towards the old circus. Nobody's been there for 10 years. That's what I thought, anyhow. Turns out the circus has been plenty busy, but I couldn't go in there alone. Uh, there were, oh my god, with guns walking around everywhere. We should check down there again and study the situation more closely. I need an intelligent cop who can watch my back. And what I really need is an Armagnac. I can't even think right now without a stiff drink. Wait, Horse Moon? Meridian's not that smart. Okay. We'll get to that later. Hopefully people will come back in time. Nope. They're not going to be back in time. Lizzie has been my faithful companion for three years now. For the first time in my life, I'm ready to formally announce our relationship. <laughs> this is the guy who's trying to marry a cat. And you refuse on account of some ridiculous formality? The old man pounds the table with his revolver. A Siberian cat is sitting on his neck. Order the man to drop the weapon. What a nice kitty. Can I pet her? Ask the registry office employee to register the marriage. Hmm. Hmm. I bet Woolbag can make it. Woolbag? Oh, it's got to be Woolbag, the Amish. He's got to do it. He's got to. Well, English, what I would do is let him get married. If that's God's plan, that's God's plan. Oh man, if a wool bag might get shot though. Fuck it, let's find out. Let's figure it out. Hey! Wool bag did it! Nice work! While the happy husband was examining the marriage certificate, the cop took advantage of the situation and arrested him. Cat had to be given to an animal shelter. Oh, wool bag would take the cat in. He's got a lot of farmland. Got some oh LeBlanche tuna. And he leveled up. Gotta give him that negotiation. And there you go. Thanks to his incredible service, I uh, got the, oh, negotiation perk. Can radio and postpone the explosion of a bomb. Which isn't super great. 530 in progress. Oh wait, what's this? Hold on, we didn't look at this. A homeless man got in the church, tied up the priest, and locked all the doors. 2405. Well, fuck. And then the smelly goose bar, an elderly man attacked the girl and bit her face after she refused to hang out with him. I should have fucking, I knew I should have waited on the arrest. That was so stupid. Oh, we got him. But we went to the right place, that's good. Anybody level up? Tomorrow, Judge Tram will consider the case, the riddle of the rusty nail, which Midas Falco will be charged as a defendant. Oh, it's gonna be close. I bet we can do it though. Yep, we got some people coming back. Bingo! All right, tied up the priest. 2405, huh? Shit. I'm not, I don't think I fucking have him close enough, do I? Oh, I do. Oh, we're good. Math is, math is hard and stupid. No one should do math. There we go. That's a good, that's a good looking squad right there. All right, and those other guys are coming back, right? Oh. We got her. Got Beatrice. Sheila, or Shyla, leveled up. 
What? And she's super fast too. Maybe she needs more strength to get to the to get that athletic perk because she moves like a goddamn ox. No, 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 different person. You're mixing up uh, Shyla with um, with uh, um, Sheena. Or Sheenie, excuse me. There you go. All right. There he is. Fucking Neckbeard got a level up. What do we give you, Neckbeard? Strength, speed, or shooting? Shooting? Uh, look, it does kind of look like Ari Shafir. All right, we'll do shooting. And then Harold Randon. Old, oh, you know what? Since his name is Randon, he'll be Randy Randon. And since I don't really care because he's a fucking disloyal fuck, because he burned his eyes out, let's make him Randy Randon. Here we go, 1d6 coming to you, Randy Randon. And it is a five. Oh, he's a, he's a good shot. It's a good shot. It sucks that he's such a good shot, too. He would be nice on a tactical mission. Oh! Oh, we got another spinach! Oh, another spinach berserker! Fine, I'm so glad I didn't take anybody to court. Because I could I could send him to court. I can interrogate this guy. So, so we torture him first and then interrogate, you think? I think that's what we do. Yeah, we'll torture him first. Where do we go? We gotta get, let's get that dossier, of course. Get the medical dossier. And then, the church, oh, can I look at this first? I can, okay, here we go. Uh, Beatrice uh, Savadier. At the age of seven, she fell from the roof of her grandmother's village house into a barrel of water. She was stunned with fright, swallowed a lot of water, and nearly drowned, so she hates water. At the age of 15, she grew up, she grew tired of her stepfather's hand up her skirt and pressed his hand onto a hot stove and didn't let go until he lost consciousness from the shock. The girl herself also received a burn, but refused medical attention. So there was a, that's the, that's the church, the Bible church thing. Um, at the age of 26, she gave birth to healthy twins without complications. Can't give the criminal talk. Try changing the situation. Every person requires their own approach. Is that the game's way of telling me that I should... That I should try and negotiate first? I, God, I think, I think they're giving me a clue here. They're like, you can't get them to talk. Maybe torture is next. I think that's the game saying maybe talk first. All right. All right, game. You win. All right, all right, all right. Beatrice Savatier. Lady, you are something else I can barely tell you from a guy. Wow. How did you manage to put on so much muscle? Did spinach really help? Why did you shave your head? All the spinach making your hair fall out. Any of those lines are really kind of shitty to say. Um... Fuck. Well, actually, no, that's nice. But I don't know if they, re if she, because I tried to be nice to the last one, and he just shut up right away. But we'll start with a nice approach. Spinach is the most useful food in the world. Oh, she responded. It has tons of iron, which really helps to gain muscle mass. If anyone, if everyone traded in their beer bottles for cans of spinach, we'd live in a beautiful, blooming city. 
I understand what you're saying, but why did you decide to go break all the liquor bottles? Doctors say that alcohol in moderate amounts can be can be useful. Have you tried alcohol? It's not so bad. I understand what you're saying, but why did you decide to go break all the liquor bottles? Those idiots, they just won't listen. I try to talk to them like I'm trying to talk to you with you right now. You're just sitting there nodding. I don't want to waste any more time on you. Great. Thanks. See, it's fucking stupid. It's stupid. Well, if you're not going to talk to me, maybe you'll talk to God. Because we got the burner. And I think they... Does the church have water? Have holy water? Oh, it has gas. That's right. It has the burner, though. Maybe she likes that, though. But that's the only thing from her medical dossier that... that is actually here, so... She might like the burner. That might give her will back. Let's find out, though. Oh! That's a new mechanic. Her will is unbreakable now. New mechanic, excellent. Good to know, good to know. I fucked up, I fucked up. All right. Now I can't torture her again, can I? I think that's the end of it, isn't it? Cause that, her will can't be broken. I didn't know, like, there was no, I thought, what I, what I thought, game mechanic wise, was if you get her will down by doing some form of torture, and then try that, like, it'll give her, like, white bars back. I didn't think it would make her invulnerable. <laughs> Alright, let's see, uh, sure, let's see, converse with the Holy Spirit, see what happens. No, it takes her health down. See if she can talk to the angels. Yeah, nothing. I have two screaming twins at home. I can handle this. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, that's how we go. All right. Does the slaughterhouse have a bucket of blood, I think, right? Oh, that's the... There, oh, oh. Yeah, barrel of pork shit. Into a barrel of water. Okay. So let's try the barrel of pork shit. No, it's just taking her health down. Yeah, I think I fucked up. Okay. That's truth serum. Killed the first guy I tried it on. Medical instruments. Yeah, I don't think I have, I don't, I think that that barrel of pig shit would have worked if her, if her will was not breakable. All right. We're gonna stop the torture and then we'll try again. We'll try again tomorrow. If, if it becomes available again. Oh wait. All right, this is, I'm wasting money doing this, but I wanna see if I go back today. We'll, we'll learn. Oh no, look at that. Okay, her will is back to being, okay. Let's see what happens. Oh, I do it one more time. 
Or I do it two more times, both both go all the way down to zero, so. Alright. Yeah, we'll stop. All right. We'll come back tomorrow and see if we can do it. There we go. All right. Elderly man attacked the girl and bit her face. All right, how many? We need 220 or 2220? Do we have enough? Oh, we do, we do, we do. Goat horn. Can I, can I stab her? God damn it, goat horn. You can't just solve all your problems by stabbing them away. I think I, I beg to differ. I bet you would. I bet you would. No. Okay. We need Adkins in there. But we don't want. Oh, these are both smart guys. Shit. All right, we'll send you in. What? Yes, you can. What? What? What are you saying? Yes, you can. What did I ask? I don't remember. Hey, Captain Sanity, 59 months. Shoot the Holy Spirit. I will try, Captain Sanity. Man, we're getting close to that day one. We're getting close to that five year mark, baby. Getting close. In uh, five more days, I'll have my sub subversary with five buttons. Or five buttons. It's the five year anniversary of me getting a sub button. Zeke, you need to stop and try not to do five things at once. Okay. 513 in progress. All right, how many need for this? Oh, 1120. Oh, we can do this. Uh, NDO 103, thank you for 14 months in a row. Appreciate it. You know, I think maybe on the 14th. I think I'm going to make everybody, like, everybody in chat will talk. You know what? Never mind. No, no, no. No, no. No, no. I'll keep it a surprise. Uh, two seconds car wash. A man claims that a drunk driver is trying to park near the car wash. I'm 45 years behind the wheel, so I immediately notice when someone's driving drunk. Okay, we got to wait for people to come back so we can do this. The church doors are closed. The inside, the inside, there's the sound of crashing and indiscriminate men's screams. Pick the door lock, break the door, break down the door, ram the doors with a patrol car. Hmm. I think picking the lock either requires intelligence or, or stealth. And I only got one, one kind of smart cop on. We got speed and shooting for you. And I'm guessing ram the doors is speed? Hmm. Say cart ramrod. I'm just afraid that, that if I put JP on the case, or on, on them ramming the doors, he'll, uh, he'll fucking die. Because that's, like, reckless. He'll, like, forget to put his seatbelt on and RNG will kill him. Alright, let's see if, let's see if, uh, Horse Moon can ram the doors. Go ahead, Horse Moon. You're a rookie. See what happens. The, oh shit, we got a new thing. Okay, the patrol car crashes through the doors. And the cop finds himself inside the church. The priest is tied to a chair. And next to him is a plastic fuel canister. A large bum armed with an iron pipe is smashing everything that gets in his way. He stops and turns when he notices the cop. Hurry to the priest. Shoot the homeless man. Shoot the homeless man with a taser. I think Horse Moon is going to have to shoot the homeless man.
No, you know, if JP did it, gain a level. However, I want my low bees to get levels too. What do you think? Would JB shoot shoot the homeless man before Horse Moon could? Or would JP let someone else do the hard work for him and get a little credit? You know, I think I like that better. I think he's going to be like, Horse Moon did it, but I told her to do it. So give me a little bit of credit. Okay. I think that's what was, was going to happen. And there it is. The cop shot the suspect in the head. The priest got off with a fright. Excellent. Good work. Mercedes Horse Moon gained a level. Well, you're a good shot, so we'll give you shooting. All right. We need people to come back. 536 in progress. No, oh, wait, wait, hold on. We don't have anybody yet. Nobody's back yet. Everybody's out on calls. This one's more pertinent. 2090, okay. A girl was trying to teach her large sheepdog to fetch a stick. The dog didn't obey, so the girl became angry and now is beating the sheepdog with a stick. Oh, God. All right. Oh, fuck. McGuire gonna be tired. Oh, man. Anybody else on their way back? Oh, there we go. Hmm. Oh, wait. Man claims that a drunk driver is trying to park near the car wash. I'm 45 years behind the house. Oh, that might be that might be a false alarm. Oh, and it's only 11:20. Oh, okay. There you go. Rosencrantz, take Brandon and Luna out there and check it out. Oh, shit. An elderly man is on top of a girl. Blood is dripping from his chin. The girl screams in pain. Her nose has been bitten off. Whoa. The criminal is laughing. Now you won't be turning your nose up at anyone. <laughs> the other patron of the bar dare not interfere. One whispers, does he have rabies? Tackle the offender. Stab the criminal with a big knife. Hit the criminal with a shocker. Oh, oh! Why did I have to bring Goat Horn? Why did I have to bring Goat Horn? He's got a stab. He sees his opportunity. He's gonna get in there. Five thirty complete. The cop stabbed the criminal with a big knife and nearly took his head off. Oh, oh, that's horrible. The girl will be will live, but she'll need a plastic surgeon. Oh, Goat Horn! Why did they give me that option? God damn it! It's terrible. All right, I think, oh, we got some cocaine. That's nice. And Adkins gained the last level. Now Iris Adkins, super cop. All right. I think we got enough people to do this, but it's gonna fucking wear McGuire out. Yeah, there we go. All right, we don't have to send him in. We actually, let's give him a spa day. Let's give McGuire and Marshall a spa day right now. There we go. Yeah. All right, McGuire, Marshall, head on in there. Go have a nice steam. Hopefully it doesn't take you all day. Oh, what does this need? I need a smart cop with a what? Intelligent cop to watch my back. Oh, with Armagnac, I have Armagnac. I'm pretty sure. Oh wait, I can just check my, this, storage. Yeah, I have two Armagnacs, okay, we're good. 
Driving under the influence was a false alarm. Just a novice driver who can figure out how to park in a narrow place. He parked crooked and then gave up. And just stood right there on the sidewalk. Nice work. A sheepdog is lying on the ground whimpering. A girl has uh, has raised a stick overhead, ready another blow. Strike the girl with a baton, order her to drop the stick, use pepper spray. Ooh. Baton or pepper spray? What do you think? Baton? Give her a taste of her own medicine? Okay. Who's gonna do it? Hmm, not a lot of strength here. I mean, Jacob has the most. And JP will level if I hit him. All right. Go ahead, JP, give, give, her, a, give her a hit. Oh, the cop stuns her with the baton. The sheepdog sees that her master is in trouble and attacks the cop. Stab the cop with the big. Okay, good. Oh, we don't have st we don't have a stabber here. Oh, we have a shocker though. We can shock it. That's I mean stab or shoot, but we can shock it. Shock it. Do it. Five thirty six complete. The cop merely turned on the shocker, <coughs> and the sheepdog was frightened and lay down on the ground. Oh, so we didn't have the shocker. We just went. <coughs> Uh, the policeman arrested its master without any interference from the dog. The animal shelter will look after the sheepdog. Nice. And JP gains another level. Strength, intelligence, or negotiation for JP? What do you think? Lord Vorbis, he got 40 months. Thank you, Lord Vorbis. Intelligence? Anything but intelligence. <laughs> he does bop a lot of people, you're right. Hmm. Let's go negotiation. Got the interrogation perk. 534 in progress. All right, how many people you need for this shit? 1680, all right, child abuse. A woman reports that her son's friend is afraid to go to his home because he gets badly beaten there. All right. Yeah, we got 15 something with those guys, so we're gonna have to send in that. Oh God, Stabby, Stabby's gonna go over there. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hold on, anybody coming back? Oh, there we go. Now we got people back, sweet. Gonna take Randon, Luna, and Goathorn. No. Almost. Shit. Sh shit. Well, we gotta take Goathorn because he's close to a level. There we go. That's what we'll do. All right, newbies. Head out there. Check that shit out. 554 in progress. All right, we can't forget the assault. We gotta send... A smart cop with some army. Yeah, oh, both of these guys are smart. Yeah, those guys are smart. All right. Jameson Hill, a man has stolen the TV from Mr. Schick's house and is dragging it away on a sled. All right. So we got to send a smart cop. Let's let's send let's send the Amish detective out there. And also, I gotta check something here. Okay. We got that. It's still on the same day with this guy, right? 
It is. Okay. All right, 1860. All right, Jacob. Horse Moon. Late. Nope. Is that going to be enough? That'll be enough. Okay. Oh, God damn it, Mr. Nash. My medium warned me that it, oh, yeah, it will not go out at night. Will not go on calls at night. I wonder, do I lose the baton, the shocker, and the pepper spray if I fire them? I wonder if I can cure them of that. Because if she's unavailable for half of the day, like all the time, that's going to be a real problem. Hmm. Let's see. I can treat drunkenness. Do I have a fucking, like, a witch doctor or something? Maybe intelligence. You know what? I haven't done this yet. Let's do it. Okay. Will you go, though? Nope. Won't even do it. Fuck! Alright, well, I paid for it. In progress. I paid for it. I wonder if that's gonna fuck him up. Is that gonna make is that gonna make you real tired? It probably does, doesn't it? Did I just miss a call? No, I didn't. It just came in. A call just came in. Oh. The boy wasn't getting beaten. The two friends just wanted to watch a movie on the recently purchased video player and had made up the story. Oh, okay. So that was a false alarm. Nice. Perfect. Oh, this oh I sent I sent the Amish detective out there. Uh Kyla, thank you for seven months in a row. Appreciate it. Welcome back. Nash, I was in the woods when the, uh, with the soldier, and when we saw the circus tent, well, I gotta admit it, I panicked. I remember the clowns from my childhood, and without a couple of sips of Armagnac for courage, I wouldn't have been able to handle it, but now I'm feeling better. We don't have enough guys in the whole police station to take out these cocksuckers. They must have 20 people sitting in the main tent, and there's just as many spread out across the surrounding area. When a deer accidentally ran into the circus and broke through the fence, the whole crowd immediately jumped up, and under orders of some fucker in a, t in a blue coat, they filled the creature with lead. We'll need to proceed quietly and carefully. The campus lit up like a Christmas tree, but the generator that feeds the area is throwing up sparks. If you short it out in just the right way, it'll catch that hefty tent of fabric on fire, and everyone sitting inside will burn. There's also barrels of fuel around the perimeter. If we cut holes in them, they would spread fire through the camp. I just hope we can get back out of there fast enough. Nice. Remember being 18 and being a team leader at Quiznos, only 18 and could... Only clothes and only 18 or older could work in the meat slicer. They hire some fucking chick that claims she can't do the meat for personal reasons. That's dumb. Hey, I'll, I'll work at Quiznos, but I can't. I can't cut, cut or handle sandwich meat. So, so level, so lettuce. So you're on the lettuce and onions. All right, we got an assault plan. We're gonna burn that shit down. Gather some intel. What do we need? Oh, we can do a wiretap. I only wanted to go pray at the at the river. It was a miracle I made it back alive. Oh, he just wants cash. Okay, does everybody just want cash? They all just want cash. I know how to deal with neckties nice and quiet. Or I could just wiretap and be done with it. And then this. 
Same thing. Yep. They just want a bunch of money. I wonder if I could wiretap both. Don't send a cop out to scout in broad daylight. Spying at night is more effective. Oh, well, duh. Am I in broad daylight? I'm not in broad daylight. It's fucking... Fucking 10... It's 10.46 at night. It's got to be after midnight, maybe. Oh, wait. Hold on. Mystery of the Miss... Okay. Now we got all the clues, right? Yep. Alan crossed the body with another trouble. First one, old lady. Oh, this is the, the ones who are fighting over the corpse. All right. Uh, couldn't give her the body of her lover, but how could I give it to her if she didn't end any paperwork? She yelled at me for an hour. I was so nervous that I couldn't find my keys. It turned out they fell under the table. The next day, another lady came in with, a forged, with forged documents. Uh, pretending to be Mrs. Allen Cross, but even I could see someone's handing me cheap fake like she brought it from a service station. It was strange though. This girl could easily afford a better quality forgery. Then literally an hour later, another one came in, but I knew this blonde. It was Vicky, a waitress at Apollo's Toes. She was, she came in drunk as a cat in heat, sobbing that Allen was the love of her life. I had to take her home because she doesn't have a car, and if she went to it with a bus stop, she just lay down and freeze to death. I'm afraid one of these ladies climbed in through the window, which I forgot to lock up when I left, came, climbed in and stole their lover's precious corpse. So we got the, the the drunk waitress, forged documents of someone who looks like they can afford better, or... Um, oh, an angry lady. Just angry lady. Okay. Brooke Cross, widow of Alan Cross. Okay. I knew my husband had a woman on side. I don't care. I'm not 70 or not 17 anymore. I know full well that's just man's nature. That's how we stay together 42 years. When Alan died, some drunken whore came to my house, said she would have. Oh, drunken whore. So it's the drunk. Supposedly asked her to spread his ash in the forest. Okay. Okay, so it's the drunk. Let's investigate the drunk. It's the waitress. There we go. Okay, so we'll investigate her next. Can we do it now or not? Whoops. Oh, he's, oh, it's just one, one at a time per day. Okay. We need someone to be smarter. Fuck. Is anyone going to be back in time so I didn't waste money on this? There we go. Okay. A man in a ski mask is struggling to drag a TV along on a sled. There's also a tire iron on the sled. Order him to stop. Hey, buddy, want me to give you a ride? Shoot in the air. Um, hmm. Yeah, let's try that. Let's let's see if Rosencrantz can uh, come in. Hey, buddy. Want me to give you a ride? The man didn't like the cops from the offer. He grabbed the tire iron from the shed and makes clear that he's protecting his prize to the end. Shoot the culprit with a taser or restrain the sub subject. Oh, late. Late. It's taser time. I don't have a sniper. I didn't bring the sniper on this. Taser time. <laughs> the cop stunned the criminal with a taser shot. It turned out that he, that he wanted to put the TV in his disabled mother's house. Her old broke TV. Her old TV broke. Well, that sucks. And we took it. Of course we took it. Um, un or excuse me. You were born to die with eight months. Welcome back. Stab everyone. Oh, and fuck Reaper. <laughs> okay. All right, that was forceful. All right, uh, what do you want to be? You want to be shoot, shooter? We can give you stealth or negotiation. He's my, he's my rat, by the way, he's my mole. What do we give him? Stealth for being a rat, I think that makes sense. That makes sense, okay.
All right, who needs smarts? You know what, Rand? Why don't you go over there? Give you some smarts, huh? 1600. An eyewitness report said a prostitute is hanging around by the water tower offering extreme services. Sniper time! I wonder what extreme services mean. Oh, you won't go out at night. Will, will you, Goat Horn? Or, I mean, will you, Horse Moon? Goat Horn will, though. Go Goat Horn's a good dude. He'll do it. Hmm. Yeah, go ahead. Wait, 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 where's the fucking... Where's the assault? There it is, okay, we can still get to it. What? Must only, I guess we can only do one thing a day. I, it's probably only one thing a day because we did the um, we did the develop an assault plan. Maybe we only have to do one thing. A, we can only do one thing a day. Because it, it's four days left to the assault. Whoops. Damn it. Yeah. Disappears. Randon's learning intelligence. A prostitute, along with an obese client, is scrambling up the stairs of the water tower. Climb up after them, shoot in the air, wait for them below. Well, we gotta climb up after them, right? I'll climb up after him. Goat horn? Are you gonna stab him up there? <laughs> well, extreme, I think she's gonna push him off, probably. I think that's what's gonna happen, like. Well, we'll see what happens. We'll wait for him below, I guess. See what happens. 542 oh. complete. Well, that was easy. Kyle quietly waits until the prostitute finishes her affairs up on the water tower and comes back down. She has nowhere to run except into the hands of the police. That was easy. And Stabby got another one. Okay, so... What do you think? What do you think it takes to be... Be like a cold-blooded stabber? Freddy. And his name's Freddy, too. <laughs> gotcha, whore. Yeah, Rhiannon... I hate that sex work is still fucking illegal in most places. Speed? Okay, speed it is. All right, a policeman can spend all his current... Yeah, okay, we, already, we know that one. Okay. What happened? Did someone leave? Hey, gotta see the smart cop now. Is he gonna be loyal? Are you gonna be loyal now? Nope, he's not gonna be loyal. I just wasted money. I thought I thought maybe if I gave him some training, he'd be become more loyal, but I was wrong. Sex work ain't illegal in Finland. Welcome, Zeke. No, it, it's there's lots of places that it's not that it's not illegal, and I love those places. Uh, Zeke, it's so much fun watching play this game. Thanks for streaming. Well, thank you, G Martins. I'm glad you guys are. I'm glad you're liking the show. Okay, here we go. Gotta wait for the end of the day. All right. Need a smart cop to do that, right? Do we need a smart cop? Or just any cop? I think we can do any cop, right? I mean, we should err on the side of 
on the side of caution there and send a smart cop in anyway. Yeah, he's got intelligence and stealth just in case, so Rosencrantz is good. He's got he's he's got a, he's he should be the mole. Rosencrantz should be the mole, because look at the mole. Moly 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 mole. He's got a mole. Okay. We'll save we'll save our money and do two wiretaps. We got lots of days to go. A mole or oh he's a rat. You're right. He's a rat, not a mole. Okay. Oh shit. Oh my god. <laughs> I got I got I get a real eat my diction vibe from Brody. And then we got Titus. Titus looks like he played like running back. We don't need another baton. Hepatitis. Yeah, hepatitis. He doesn't have anything, but Brody has strength and a little bit of intelligence. Hmm. Half diction, half LO. <laughs> so it it would be like eat my heim or uh elo diction i think uh, elo diction eat my heim is funny but elo diction's easier to say <laughs> all right elo diction's coming all right it is time for the second break of the day. Man, these these just these hours just fly by. Fly by. I got to take a piss too, so glad we're getting a break. All right. Going to go to the bathroom. It is halftime, so we got another 4 hours of, of broadcast day left. So we got tons of content coming to you. Uh so don't go away. Sit right there. Uh, I need to take a minute. Just sit right there. I'll tell you how I became the prince of a town called Bel Air. All right, don't go away. We'll be right back, stick around. 